Normally, a wedding is supposed to be a celebration of love between two soulmates who are really into each other and want to take their relationship to another level. However, that seemed not to be the case with this couple. There has been this wedding trending all over social media. The bride had to fight the groom because of the chief bridesmaid who she found out to have been sleeping with the groom that is the husband-to-be. And on Nollywood actress Ronke Odusanya's messy separation with her estranged partner, the court has ordered that a DNA paternity test be conducted on their daughter. Hi guys, you are watching M Chiki series. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. Make yourself comfortable as we get right into this gist. So, over the weekend, this video has been trending. And this is supposed to be a celebration of love between this couple. However, it turned out to be sour because the bride found out that the chief bridesmaid has been sleeping with the groom who is supposed to be her husband. So she now decided to call off the wedding after fighting the groom on the road. A lot of people gathered. It became a drama and people were watching. At first, when I saw the video, I thought it was Nollywood movie. So people started reacting to it. Some people said that the lady was not supposed to call off the wedding. She would have continued with the wedding. And other people are asking, how did she manage to find out that the chief bridesmaid was having anything to do with her husband-to-be or her prospective husband? Then some people believe that the chief bridesmaid is a very bad friend for her to get involved in that. And other people believe that she has been doing that. They managed to find out. <laughs> You can see the chief bride made in pink and the bride shouting that she will not marry again. But my question is this, if the guy so much loved the chief bridesmaid, why did he go on to wed this lady? Why didn't he call off the wedding at initial stage, go on with the chief bridesmaid? Or is he a case of one trying to test Obono, Egusi and Onubu, just like some men say in Nigeria? So this is really surprising. To what's in the whole thing, I know the process of marriage in Nigeria is that you pay the dowry, then they do the traditional marriage after they do the wedding. So... Could it be that the bride price they've paid, the traditional marriage they did is just for fun, just for waste? This guy, if he actually, like I said before, if he actually in love with the chief bridesmaid, why did he go ahead and get down with the chief bridesmaid? This has shown that some men are confused. They don't really know what they want. You want Uju. You still want her friend. You still want her cousin. You still want everybody around her. I don't know. Why should some men be behaving like this? Is it that you don't have any other women outside? If you don't sleep with the girl's friend, because as far as I know, chief bridesmaid is supposed to be somebody who is very close to the bride, who is like the best friend to the bride. And if care is not taken, I'm sure this bride has confided so much in this chief bridesmaid. She never said anything about the husband, whether the husband is toasting her or not. And she just kept quiet. Is it that there is no other man on the surface of this head that she has found only only for her to go ahead and have something to do with the friend's husband and she knew right well that they were planning their wedding that day is their wedding because she's the chief bridesmaid she knows all this so i wonder some people are very mean some people are very very bad she had this at the back of her mind she'll be the chief bridesmaid at the same time she was still having something to do with her prospective husband is that no wickedness just tell me some ladies are just terrible, honestly. And that's the reason why when people say that they have best friend, some of these married women or even single ladies that have their best friend, they're confined in them. Before you know it, the best friend or whoever will switch everything around and take over her boyfriend or even chase the woman out of the house and take over the person's house. They will bring the woman into the house. Some people, they're not able to chase the woman out. The woman will be there and she will get on with the husband, a second wife. It has happened. So ladies have to be very careful when it comes to this best friend of a thing. I have a best friend. This person is my best friend. You have to be watching your back because it's not everybody that you put your trust in has to be trusted. And it's not everybody you tell your story, listen to your story and also have good intention for you. Sometimes you tell people your story, they're wrong with it. They don't even care about you. All they care about is how they will turn that story to favor them, how they will benefit from it. And this is a situation of this. According to the story, they didn't say 
whether the lady has been dating the guy, but people are insinuating that for her to have the boldness to have this flank with him before the wedding shows that they have had something, they've been running things together. This is very, very sad. I don't know why ladies do that. Even men that toast their wife's best friend, I don't know why they do that. Some people are just devilish. I don't know why they get involved in that and they're very comfortable doing it. They're very, very comfortable. Like this guy now, you have wedding the next day and you sleep with the chief bridesmaid and you are happy driving in the same car with your wife. You think you're smart. Really? Some people believe that the lady shouldn't have called up the wedding. What for? It's better the way she called up the wedding because this guy, I don't think he's going to stop. I don't think he's going to stop. He started doing this. That's the way he started his own wedding. He can never stop. So if the lady did not call up the wedding and she decided to be there, whatever she sees, she takes. What was very funny about the whole situation was that the lady was beating up the guy. The chief bridesmaid was pretending as if she knew nothing about the whole thing till one guy came and said, you snatch your friend's husband, you sleep with your friend's husband. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Even that man talking, I'm sure all of them are together in this business because that guy is like the groom's friend. Is it that he doesn't know that the friend is into women? Is it that they don't know? Anyway, I just believe that it's better the way the lady walked out of the marriage. At least they've not done the wedding. The only thing is that they must have done their traditional. So they'll find a way to return the dowry. Then she faces her life. It's just confirmation of who he is. The man just showed who he is. So he left for the lady whether to accept it or not to accept it. Moving on to Ronko Odusanya. So the news about Ronko Odusanya and her baby daddy hit the internet in December 2020. It came with she dragging the baby daddy and uh, some news having it that she allegedly took the man to court after bankrupting the man and stuff like that. She came out and made this statement saying that while my silence may be taken for cowardice, I'll be calm because the truth always reveals itself. I can defend myself, but I won't want my daughter to grow up reading such irritating and factless information. The court of social media has always been myopic and manipulative. Remember, you did not make me. You cannot break me. Bank statements can reveal who has been receiving money from who and for what. Investigate before publishing. For the platform used to peddle this absurdity, seats will surely germinate. Wrong so when she put up this statement, people took it as she has debunked the story. These lovers were the ones that brought the story initially. So now from the look of things, it seems that the two are no longer together. The court orders paternity tests for Nollywood actress Ronko Odusanya's daughter. The husband doesn't agree that he's the one that has the baby. So it reads like this. A magistrate court in Lagos has ordered that a DNA paternity test be conducted on the daughter of a Yoruba actress, Ronke Odusanya, following her separation from her estranged husband, Olari Waju Said, a.k.a. Jago. Magistrate M.O. Tanimola gave the order on Wednesday when the case was brought before her at Court 8, Samuel Elori Courthouse, Oba Ikeja, Magisteria District, Lagos. The actress and her estranged partner, Olari Waju Said, popularly known as Jago, welcomed their daughter in 2019 are currently in court for several reasons, including the welfare of their daughter, Oluwa Fife Hami. It was reported that Said, through his lawyer, requested the court to order a DNA test to ascertain the paternity of the child on the grounds of suspicion of infidelity when the matter came up in court on Wednesday. So the actress and her lawyer reportedly agreed to the request on the condition that the DNA fees and other bills be footed by Said. It's okay that they agreed because if she does not, the news will be all over. You can't decide the DNA of a child by mere looking at the child. In as much as a lot of people are saying that the baby girl resembles the daddy, you can't decide that by mere looking at the child. So it's good they agreed to go on with the test. And again, the actress's lawyer also pleaded with the court to ensure that it is a court supervised DNA test so that nobody will swap the result. Right now, a lot of men are calling for DNA and some people are trying to use it to find a way to put the women in trouble. Some people go as far as changing the test of the DNA if it's not well supervised. So Mrs. Tani Mola, the magistrate ruling, decided on an undisclosed hospital on Lagos Island for the test to be done and for the result to be sent directly to the court, which I think is okay. Let's wait and see what comes out of it. So she adjourned the case till March 31st for further hearing. Hmm. This is really getting more and more messy. 
honestly and a lot of people are in the comment section saying that the lady went for hypogamy in the sense that she married somebody that is on a lower social status than her that she had married somebody on the same level with her then this kind of issue shouldn't come up and some people believe that she married a younger guy that she would have gotten somebody who is almost at the same age as her but it depends anyway let me know what you guys think about the whole story let me know what you think about the chief bridesmaid that cheated on her friend about this wrong called usanya case the husband calling for dna i'm gonna sign off here stay healthy and safe remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to this channel if you've not done already and i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video bye and remain blessed